Hello, I'm Hein Hellemans, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Cloud Sales at VMware, and I'm excited to introduce a recent success story from a European retailer, Carrefour. I grew up in Europe actually and spent a lot of time in France, so I'm very familiar with Carrefour, as I'm sure many of you are. But something you may not know is that Carrefour recently underwent a digital transformation that reduced operating costs by 40% and energy consumption by 45%, thanks to Google Cloud VMware Engine. These positive outcomes have helped Carrefour realize its goal of bringing healthy, sustainable food to its customers. Now let's hear from this world-class retailer on this amazing business transformation and how it's creating lasting customer impact with Google Cloud VMware Engine. I'm Nicolas Fong. Uh, in English, you would say Nicolas. I'm uh, currently the Chief Technology Officer within Carrefour. So I'm running basically all the technology programs and the architecture uh, of a transformation, uh, especially uh, sponsoring the uh, cloud transformation of the Carrefour France uh, entity amongst the Carrefour Group uh, organization. And uh, I'm really happy to, to share today our experience and especially what we've been doing with uh, Google and VMware specifically. Actually, um, that's an interesting journey, the one we, we've been through. Uh, it starts only three years ago. If we really start from the beginning, uh, three years ago, I mean, 2018 to be precise, uh, we're almost nowhere regarding cloud, or I mean, just at the beginning of it. Uh, that's a, a very important step, even though there were some initiatives uh, back in the 2000 with the Ushop experience as in the e-commerce side, but actually as a complete, uh, I would say, enterprise uh, company move toward a digital transformation, leveraging the cloud, we uh, very at the start of it, whereas cloud technologies have already demonstrated some powerful uh, benefit regarding developing new services as exposed or helping to actually accelerate the access to information or data. Um, I just want to come back to the cloud first because actually Carrefour, we decided to be cloud only. So it's even further than cloud first. Uh, and there are ma major reasons for that. Uh, first, uh, of course, you start with a, a legacy. Everyone talked about legacy, but I'll say, you start with your assets, the existing you have. Those one, you need to think about how you can, I would say, transform them or make them evolve Cloud or not, that was always the, the, IT, the, the history of IT. But for all new needs, already back in 2018 and 19, especially, we decided that cloud only, meaning that we should target all new needs by having a clear policy saying, okay, either it's a commodity, then you move to the SaaS. The more you want to, I would say, go in depth in developing your solution, you go a bit further down to the, I would say, lower part of the stack. Endless leader, yes, even though that's not the preferred, but it's really to have kind of a complete approach to say, let's go for chance, then go for pass, containerize your application, and I would say, finally, uh, you can use infrastructure as a service. Definitely avoid data center. It was excluded. That's where cloud first is, uh, on our perspective, provides too much way out to avoid being aggressive and really have a strategy to leverage the cloud technology. That's the point I wanted to make. Now, regarding now our journey, of course, uh, already a lot of things have been said regarding what retailers can uh, benefit from it. And if we come from, uh, I would say, start in 2018, the sign signature of the partnership with Google, uh, I want to anticipate potentially to a question you could raise, why we choose Google, but I want, because it's, it's really related to the, the journey uh, Carrefour take at the time. The, the purpose was not actually to technology for technology or leverage cloud for the cloud. The purpose was to say, we do have a good knowledge on retail industry, especially on the food, but non-food industry. But what mm -hmm. we lack, if we want to accelerate, is how we can introduce new grocery shopping experience. How we can really think about, I would say, going further to our traditional habits. Um, also, the idea was, do we have enough internal skills to create new solution uh, to analyze and exploit the data? Uh, and finally, uh, who can help us to uh, transform digitally, uh, but especially regarding productivity, so the collaboration, the way people work, and, and finally, how it can help as a benefit 
to drive a decrease in the total cost of ownership regarding our infrastructure. So if we put all that together, um, Alexandre Bompard in 2018 decided to sign a, a strategic partnership with Google, saying that actually, um, if you look at big players that can bring that uh, capabilities, uh, that to name the AWS is a direct competitor. So <laughs> Google really has uh, the capability to bring, first they have very well known in retail search, getting to know the customer by the, I would say the DNA of the creation of the company, but also have developed a strong capability regarding, when you talk about uh, cloud, we should talk about microservices architecture and demodularize the application in order to accelerate the speed, in order to develop new services. So actually they come also with a set of services the set of skills, uh, and especially on the data and consumption area, they were really uh, strong. So, uh, and finally, uh, they were one of the third major player in the cloud, uh, in the public cloud. At that time, a decision was taken that we should go directly to the public cloud and avoid a step within a uh, private cloud uh, on our own data center uh, approach. So I was about to come to that because, of course, we also talked with the <laughs> VMware. So first, VMware is an existing, um, I would say, right. provider for virtualization, for helping, you know, before the cloud, uh, largely adoption. People were talking about how to accelerate the virtualization, which was always about the same purpose, how you accelerate the provisioning of your infrastructure right. regarding putting only hardware asset, try to virtualize it in order to accelerate the speed of it. Also optimize the consumption of your resources, always this kind of, I would say, optimization of your resources. So VMware is a, a long time uh, partner with Carrefour. Now, where the things become interesting is when VMware came to offer, uh, together with Google, the VMware as a service on Google Cloud, that's where they provide an additional capability that actually was missing on the market. We talk about, you know, modernizing application, uh, transforming application, but this has a cost. And most of the time, business do not see immediately the benefit. Therefore, you're a bit stuck if you do not have something in your portfolio to accommodate with that. And actually, what we found very attractive and very, uh, I would say, powerful is using VMware as, a, as our partner on top of Google Sure. provide us a tool we didn't have in our portfolio to accelerate our move to the cloud and get rid of, I would say, existing data center, therefore providing also, I would say, the scalability we were talking about. Um, uh, also, I would say, simplifying the way you manage your infrastructure, because actually it's already come with managed services on top of what you could have in your data center. But actually, VMware was uh, the missing capability in our cloud journey. So I really want to emphasize that because since we have partnered with them, uh, we're starting uh, seeing very good results in the speed. We start with uh, this offer, which came pretty recently, the two of them last year, but we, we more than experiment. We really apply it to our test and dev center which was in our uh, own data center, representing a bit more than 300 servers. We were able to move the complete infrastructure in less than three months. It's just to give the ability, of course, you always face some difficulties as any project, but let's, let's be very concrete. In three months, we achieved it. This was uh, an expectation from the top management, but I would say on my side, I was thinking it's a bet because even though it seems uh, seamless, fluid, or whatever. It need to be proven coming from your, your data center to uh, the Google uh, Cloud. So coming back to what are the main triggers to prioritize or start with something. So there are three main criteria yeah. that we are using. First, when you start something, try to uh, start with something that's too critical and you know you will have to learn around it. The second point is we are in ag aggressive pressure regarding cost reduction. So let's pick up 
set of server that cost. So it's much more driven by infrastructure, much mm -hmm. more by uh, immediate, so say, looking at application, whether it's a back-end application or a front-end application. This was less of importance. And the third criteria, it comes from the application, is the complexity of the application. If it has databases, replication of databases, and you need to, to I would say, move the application with the, no downtime, and it's the, then you took it as a third criteria. So the combination of those three make us define and prioritize our portfolio and create some kind of, I would say, package of uh, infrastructure where we say, okay, these represent the same kind of uh, people working around it. So by moving this set, we'll also transform the people, do not uh, disturb too much the overall organization in managing it, achieving some cost reduction, effective cost reduction, and finally, uh, minimize business disruption. So th these were the reasons for why we choose those three criteria. So Google and VMware, specific, specifically, in, specifically sorry, in that uh, migration, and still is, were really part of the teams. So actually, we were expecting them to provide expertise on both, I would say, sizing of the landing zone, but also expertise on the product. So just to give an example on the VMware product, for example, if you take the HCX, this is a very huge capability that allow, uh, allow you to extend your data center IP network into sure. the cloud, which I would say will limit the transformation you need on your application, so which will limit all the intervention you need from application team or whatever in order to move it. Nevertheless, in order to set it up, you need to have expertise, and this expertise was not present inside. So what we have really benefit, benefited from is the expertise of Google and VMware, which were committed to make the, su the successful this transition. So actually, I have to congratulate the teams. Uh, they already know, know it, because without them, it wouldn't have been possible, especially in that time frame. So the first lesson we learned, actually, um, and it's much more how we prepare in, on Carrefour more than through our, um, I would say, partners. Uh, we were driven by uh, actually generating very effective cost reduction. Therefore, we have privileged the speed rather to the preparation. I've said everything there, because then the lesson learns are uh, actually, um, we did not anticipate the fact that maybe we need to think about our operating model and how to adapt it in order to support the teams. Of course, we have some technical issues regarding network, uh, I would say the connectivity. So our things were actually the speed make us uh, not, I would say, anticipate all the various risks around it. We also face difficulty regarding, uh, but it's less about our, uh, again, partner than the architecture. For example, moving application which have a Citrix part on it, then we, we realize that moving a part of it, we were missing another part of it. So it's much more how we prepare. And the complexity of our existing landscape we were moving, because the idea was really to make a lift and shift. But finally, we found a solution. Uh, and, and again, we were really helped to by Google but in this time, much more VMware in the expertise because we're coming from the VMware world to a VMware world. Uh, but I would say across two data centers, let's say that, that one on the cloud and one on, on, on our premise. So based on that success, actually, we have continued and we are currently in the plan to close one of our data center. Uh, we, we still have uh, two. Actually, uh, I, I didn't say that we closed already two in 2019. So we closed one in 2020. Uh, now we closed a small one, again, through the migration with VMware. Mm -hmm. And and we are currently uh, closing one of the largest one, which is uh, somewhere in the east part of France. Mm -hmm. And we're in the middle of it. So this time it's about uh, 1,400 servers. I need to migrate from uh, twin data center location to uh, this time the Google Cloud VMware uh, engine solution we've set up 
in the in our colocation space in Frankfurt, to be more precise. So we're in the middle of it. When I say we are in the middle of it, we already started, meaning that based on the success and the learnings we had from the test and dev center, uh, this time we have started to really move production workloads, so real application. Uh, and at the time we're talking, we're uh, somewhere in the middle of our transition, meaning we've already moved uh, something like 500 or 600 servers to the, the cloud. So we started uh, uh, in January, end of January uh, this year. So we are now roughly four or five months ahead. And we should be ending um, somewhere end of this month or uh, mid of next month. The advice would be that if you go for cloud only, you need to really have a rich uh, offer. When we start the journey, we were already targeting only uh, public cloud. But when you go to, the, uh, uh, to, the, to this journey, you need to address the architecture of your application. Lifting and shifting, I would say, leg application on the public cloud, that doesn't, is not that actually easy. Uh, required much more refactoring, uh, if not refactoring, at least replatforming. And sometimes um, it can lower your speed and affect your overall strategy because you can end up in kind of, um, I would say, hard lessons. You can be stuck in the middle. I'm not saying uh, this is not the right move because what we did is all new applications were developed on the Google plan. So this should be clear. But your, your existing landscape takes time to be uh, modernized or cannot be modernized the same way. So also in the, in the middle, some can directly move to your, I would say, cloud-ready infrastructure, but other really benefit from a private cloud solution that look like your, the one you, you may have in your own data center. And I'm referring to, I would say, the VMware environment uh, in that matter. Uh, you know, you should trust your partner, you make your choice of your partner, and you should go with them. It commit, it's, it's interesting for them. You commit them to your result, and that's all also how you really can, uh, I would say, evaluate the real characteristics of your partnership and if you, you can trust them. But you need them. So think about the one you, you want to work with prior to start your journey.